Good, good evening, my viewers. This is George on deck. Um, tonight you have two watchdogs of, of your tax dollars, Ed Safone from Yorktown. Thank, thank you, George. And myself, George on deck, the tax watchdog of George, Peekskill. you have one of these? I found this up there, you know. I don't have one of them. But have my donating, show. Welcome to the Watchdog Report. You're See? donating that to my uh uh, no, George. But, and, but since Dennis left, I have no show, George. Oh, okay, so you don't have you don't have any show. Any show. That's it. All right. Joe. We don't mention other people on this show. Oh, uh, no, other who's people. Dennis? Uh, Dennis Tate was my director. You oh, know, for okay. eight years. Oh. Okay. And we had the show for eight years, and, and every week we had a different show. Oh, okay. So it's it's uh, really. Uh, but let's get on. He did to, it in two seconds. Let's get on to saving people, taxpayers, money. Okay, now, now listen, let, I'm just going to tell you about Dennis saving money. He was paying $15,000 a year in taxes. He goes to Myrtle Beach and spends 900 heard, Okay, the so same he, thing he with, move out. Same thing with my old uh, director and producer, uh, um, Al Trudeau. He's uh -huh. got two houses, yeah, one in Greenberg, 14000 the same size house in Delaware, 800, 800 yeah. So we are the highest tax county, county in America, if right, not the world. Right, the tax state. But Eddie, well, yeah. tell our viewers how through the um, STAR program that Governor Pataki, who's running for president, yeah, by that's the way, something, that? our hometown boy, for, man from Peekskill, New York. That was in 1997 when he did that. He, he decided to give the people the money back instead of... And wasn't that the, one of the greatest things ever for the middle class taxpayer? Yep. Yeah. So, so, George, this is what I tell people to go to the assessor's office, okay, with their driver's license and their last year's income tax form, okay? Because the STAR program has two facets to it. One is basic. If you make under 500000 you can get basic. It's like 25% off your school taxes, okay? But then, it, then it's enhanced. If you're over 65 years old and make less than 80 Three thousand three hundred. You get than eighty three thousand. They keep that's moving a up. High threshold. Yeah, it is, and uh, you can get forty seven percent off your school taxes. Wow. So that they should go. And then if you're a veteran, you go to the same place and you get a veteran's exemption. Okay, that's another one. And then uh, if you were a senior, you make under twenty nine thousand dollars. It's, it's a scale it goes up to uh, thirty seven thousand. But if you make under twenty nine, George, you get fifty percent off your town. Your school and your county taxes. Is that gross income? Yeah, gross income. Yeah, it gross. is an adjusted gross well, income. Well, whoever's on uh, the, the adjusted bottom line. The bottom line is, is that's what you need. If yeah. you're under, that's a, yeah. is that family income or just one person? No, I think it's combined. 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 Okay. So it, it could be two people that are on Social Security and make less than that, you know, and uh, and that's a good. And then then uh, the veterans, we had the exemption for the town. And then we got the veteran exemption now for the school in New York and in Peekskill, right? Yeah, that, that ba basic. only the basic. The Let's basic. get into that a little bit. Eddie. Okay, yeah. So we, we worked hard to get that. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of veterans out there that don't know they can get veterans benefits that they had before. So this is just on top of what you get from the town and the county. So uh, when Governor Pataki came out with this two years ago, he came out with no money. No money, okay? Governor Cuomo you're talking about. Oh, did I say Pataki? Yeah. Yes. So Governor you're thinking of the next president the next of the United president States. Next president of the United States? Yeah, that's really good. Okay. Or vice president, yeah. Uh -huh. So when, when Cuomo came out with this, he says that the veterans could get this school reduction, but with no money, okay? So each school district had to see if they could afford it. So most of them, I think it was 15, I remember, that said, yes, we'll do the basic, and then we'll see if we can afford a little more. So what happens with the basic is that the other people in the town that are not veterans will make up the difference, okay? Mm -hmm. But George, he I took... I it's only pennies a week, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 a, cents a week or something. Yeah, it was, like it was 80 it was, cents a week. It was $37.20 for the year. So what is the big deal? Yeah, so you just said Governor Cuomo... Um, yeah. Two billion dollars for for two billion dollars for, for technology, technology yeah. to the schools. Yeah, to the schools. Now we have a bridge that's being built. We don't have the money, the billions of dollars. Right. Okay, again, George, pay to play. Bill Gates. And for these veterans, Eddie, okay, for okay. these veterans yeah. who gave their time, 
gave their lives, their limbs, their families, if they're a deceased veteran. You're telling me the other taxpayers in these towns wouldn't be willing to donate 50 cents a week or 80 cents. What will they do? So these veterans could stay in their homes. Because right. after all, we're the highest tax county in America, in if world. not the world. Then. Right, right. And New York is the same thing. You know, you know what the Governor Cuomo yes. is, is doing stuff. These like pilots, the pilot program. Yeah, you know these pilots. It isn't on. a pilot who flies a plane. No, explain it, to our viewers what the pilot program. Yeah, is. it's in lieu of taxes, no payments for taxes, which means most of the time it's ten years. A business come in and pays no taxes, no wow. property taxes. So who makes up those taxes then? Well, when the know. governor or a mayor of Peekskill right. gives it away to a person who builds a hotel or a Paramount theater, uh, right. gives them a deal where they only have to pay taxes on adjusted gross receipts from the box office. In other words, yeah. if, after they take out all their expenses, then they might pay some little pittance amount of taxes to the city. Does that no. seem fair well, well, to the people who foot the bill George, for they, the building? They keep talking about jobs. So if you get these pilot programs in and they put people to work, you know, so many times, they're usually the property owner like pays the, taxes, the, the people, who the employees pay taxes, the employer who owns busy pays taxes, and that's what makes the world work. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what's it the problem. sounds like the trickle-down theory, you know. Some, but <laughs> sometimes the stuff doesn't trickle down to the middle class and the poor people. Well, well, well that was, listen, I, I was a Republican. I am a Republican. I mean, I'm <laughs> well, oh, I heard past tense. Yeah, there. I know. You know why? Was that a Freudian slip? Ed? No, that's, a, that's the main thing because I'm thinking about it. I was so dedicated to the Republican Party, okay, and now I, I'm looking at the person who's running. I okay. think more and more people are becoming independent Dependent. voters. Right, right, right. Independent, not right. independents. And, and right, that's a party by and itself. And going for the best person no matter what party. Yeah, be, because we see, George, every, every time there's an election, the Republican runs on a Democratic ticket, the Democrat runs on a Republican ticket. That's happening thing. a lot in York town. Yeah, all the time, yeah. So I, I was a district leader. I I'm, I'm still am uh, a district leader, according to the Board of... Uh, elections, but they threw me out. They threw me out. It's like <laughs> I hear I, they threw you out of a school board uh, place oh, too. Oh, no, where they was, said you were barred for a while. Yeah, barred something. for five years. Doesn't sound like democratic in America if you don't have freedom of speech. Oh, no, and and see, even even with the town, George. Now, one thing we know is town that, of Yorktown, town of Yorktown, and or the town of Peekskill. Right. If if you give the right to speak, you know, uh, public comment. Uh huh. Uh, they don't have to give you public comment, but they have to make you and be able to hear this, what's going on. We this, don't have to, we don't have microphones. There's been no limitation on the Second Amendment since it was passed in 1789. The but gun. the First Amendment, these local towns are putting time limits on. We had a mayor, Foster, who got voted out of office. Uh -huh, right, right. But if you spoke over three minutes, you could be under the threat of arrest and five police officers would escort. Wow. I think you came to one of our meetings yeah, once and couldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, what happened to freedom of speech in America <coughs> as long as you're not slanderous? Right. And in Washington, when somebody doesn't want something, let's say it's the Republicans don't want Mr. Obama's health care bill, right. One guy can get up there and read the Declaration of Independence for 24 hours, hours and yeah. nobody says anything, but rules. we don't have that right as local citizens. <coughs> well, we, we get treated different. Now, it depends on who gets up in Yorktown. Oh, it and does. And a guy can talk for 20 <laughs> minutes, the great, the, uh, the two <laughs> other people are on a board, and nothing. I get up there. Yeah, beep. Three minutes, are, <laughs> three minutes are up. Three minutes are up. I didn't even get up here yet, you know? Uh, do you have somebody who's a lawyer who runs your town as a full-time <clears throat> supervisor? Yeah, like you do. you got to say what I say at my meetings. <laughs> Sir, I know you're a lawyer, but for three minutes you can't even do an opening statement in a case. Uh, right. You've got to allow the people to speak and fully um, explain their ideas. Well, well George, we have uh, public comment, okay, courtesy of the floor. So he, he used to say one in the beginning and one at the end. Then he stopped it all together, and then he let people go talk as much as they want. 
So now they got the second courtesy of the floor back, right? We don't so, have that in Peetzkill. You don't have to, only one, one time? Foster took that away when she, that was why she was voted <clears throat> out of office, whether they know it. So, so here I have a lady, uh, Susan Siegel, that's on, he says, well, before we start the meeting, there's a second courtesy of the floor. The first one's done. Michael Grace gets up and says, meeting's over. He leaves. No courtesy of the floor, no anything. So even if they say this, even if it's on the agenda, it's on board. And George, now, the worst thing is on a work session, they don't have microphones. So you got to picture the town hall You're, with 20 people second. with twenty people sitting there. The town board wait is up there second. with no microphones. Sometimes I've been very critical of Pete Skill on certain issues. Mm -hmm. You don't have on television your planning board sessions, your work sessions, oh. or we call them committee of the whole sessions, where they discuss with people issues that are coming before the town or the yeah, city. Yeah, but they do you that, but have, without microphones. But it's not on television? No. Either. Not, not no. even microphones? No, nope, not on work sessions. Is the public allowed in there? Um, yeah. To You're not listen? allowed to Yeah, allowed to listen. You can't hear anything. So I get up near the banister, and I go and I stand there. It's, it's a joke. Now, how can the town board not have microphones? It's Michael Gray saying no, no, no. Why? And, and, and like Vishnu Patel, he's, he's a councilman. He says, what are you hiding? Let the people know. What am I hiding? I hide? Then have a Isn't microphone. Isn't it a government of the people, by the people, and for the people? Uh, what happens yeah, yeah. when certain people get into office and they forget about that? It's like you and I are David and Goliath. Yeah. We're David, and they're up there as Goliath. Oh, yeah, they got a lot of power. Deciding what's best for the little people in the town George, without consulting them. <clears throat> George, they have public hearings on stuff, yeah, okay? Yeah. Now, just let's take the pipeline. They want to expand it from 26 inches to 42 inches, and it's going to be in, in uh, Yorktown, part mm -hmm. of it, okay? We went to all these meetings, and he said, okay, we're only going to use 75 feet of our right-of-way and not your property, okay? And this picking station was a cleaning station. We're not going to put it in Yorktown. So that sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. They go in the executive session. The supervisor comes out with two extra votes. Now they got three Republicans, okay? They're going to give the town $2.1 million and use the land. Now, the uh, supervisor lawyer, he says, you can't do that. You have to go to, to the state for alienation because it's parkland. Now, he bypassed it. He rented it out for that. So I call it a bribe. What do you call it? Well, you're calling it a bribe. Yeah. And what do you call it? People on Negotiation. Who are watching my show. The opinions of Mr. Safone are, right, my are opinion. his opinions, and, right. and the opinions you say are strictly my opinions. Right, okay, so, so uh, that's, that's but one. To me, it sounds like hmm? it's not good for the town, but if you pay me off and give me $2 million, yeah. okay, go ahead and go do ahead it. Go ahead and do it, yeah. That's what it sounds like. Exactly that would be well. similar to if Pete's Gill had Wheeler Brader. Uh, which is a garbage to energy burning plant, mm -hmm. get a, a, a petition right now to burn 70,000 tons more of garbage from throughout Westchester and bring, I forgot how many thousand tons of sludge into Peatskill and yeah. then give them money for a parade or something and oh, then, see, yeah. then you... Then you just bypass that? Yeah. I don't think so. But that's, that's what happens. So. Okay. But yeah. the people got to be aware of this. They right. got to listen. Uh, uh, they got to go to town board meetings and, exactly. and committee of the whole meetings and be aware of what their legislators are passing. Right now, in, in the early 2000s, 2010 and stuff like that, they wanted to put sewers in the Halleckville right. in New Yorktown. Okay. Now, we fought that, the United Taxpayers, we fought it, because it was $3,000 a year. Wow. And, okay? And, and this is the form we've tried to tell people that you had to pay for hookups and all this stuff for extra water and all this stuff. Now, George, 3,000 years for 30 years, $90,000. How many septic systems can you buy for that? So what is he doing? He says, listen, folks, I got it arranged. We're going to have that. You're going to have sewers. Without the people knowing it, they, they, have a, they had a moratorium on since 1988 that they couldn't put any more sewers in. There's a, a Yorktown Sewer District. It's 5,000 people, 4,000 had sewers already, and 1,000 didn't. So now it's going to go. If, if I have to pay 
$3,000 a year. I got to get out. Ed, are you the watchdog of Yorktown? Let yeah, me ask you a pointed question. Go ahead. Okay. You have a, a highway supervisor. I was, yeah. And recently you also have a water commissioner. Right. A, in the past, it worked with one man. Why do you no, have no, that? No, they had two. They had two separate. Sue Siegel brought in uh, David no, Rambo. But before, uh, as, before Sue Siegel brought Rambo in. No, there was. There was a highway superintendent. He went to jail, I no, think. No, but what about, was there a two positions or one position? No, just one position. So why was an extra $100,000 put on U.S. City? That's an expense. Plus, For that a guy, new yeah. water... Water, what, meters? What, water meter system that they claim was going to save the city so much more money. Well, it depends but who I you listen to. The, from the York, Yorktowner newspaper, I'm getting this from the Yorktown. Right, right, right. Two point nine million more meters, yeah. or no, no seventy five hundred more meters. They they did twenty five hundred. There's ten thousand altogether. Okay, so if you listen to Rambo, who's the Superintendent of Water. Commissioner Rambo. Yeah. you got to be polite to the title. Well, I don't know about Commissioner, but he's <laughs> superintendent, of, oh, water superintendent. of the Water Department. Okay? And I hear he has a certificate up on the wall saying he's well, the know. commissioner I... and he knows all about, or, or okay. superintendent. So, so in the beginning, they said if they change these meters, that we would save money, okay? So they changed it to 2500 which costs a couple of million dollars, all right? So he's saying it's 99% savings because Not you're losing nine. you're losing 15 percent now with the old meters that's what he said yeah that's what he said the Michael gray says no yeah, the meters the new ones don't work and all this other stuff there was a lot of people in businesses that wasn't even hooked up has anybody done a study to see what the actual figures are yeah, of the did. new meters that have been installed right. how much has been saved and how many years will it take to get back the initial investment okay you're right like they, we had something with energy saving in our schools that passed okay. three or four years ago. And yeah. I understand it was going to take 30 years to pay back oh, wow. the energy saving. And they just floated another bond for energy saving that the people passed again. Maybe they forgot from four years ago something like this passed. George, I mean, the, George, uh, the governments really stink. Don't we, the, we are losing all our power. Don't the school districts and the town districts, they should have something called a cost accountant who looks at each <clears throat> department and sees where you can save costs. Right, they call that a controller. Okay. <laughs> but, the, but the controller is yeah. another person, I, I call it fear of influence with Michael Grace. So she doesn't even tell you how much is in the budget as a fund balance. Hmm. Now, the fund balance is the most important thing. The yeah. fund balance, if you don't use it for anything, it's unassigned, okay? So here's Michael Grace. We have $22 million in fund balance in special dish. $22 million, okay? He says we shouldn't raise taxes, but they raise taxes 3.6%. <laughs> then you get the Democrats saying, well, we have $5 million in the general fund, but we don't want to spend that money. And they raise taxes. So that's 27 almost $28 million dollars. They could take some of that money and reduce the taxes. What many people don't realize, that, and you and I realize mm -hmm. that, that it's not only the property tax that hits people hard in the pocket, and that's a big thing in Yorktown, mm -hmm. but they should really look at the fines and fees that are being assessed to them. Um, mm -hmm. Are you in favor of traffic cameras being brought into Yorktown. There seem to be two or three or four cities that now no. if you go through a red light, a camera will take your picture and you'll be in court George, for violation. George, I'm against that. And listen to what I did to You're my car. You're against it or yeah, for yeah. it? No, I'm against that, taking pictures and stuff. Okay. But George, I had to reduce my insurance on my car. You know how I reduce the insurance? How? Just what you're saying. There's a gadget. I had to plug into my car. I wouldn't And they could tell either. me how many miles I drove and everything else to reduce my my uh, insurance bill by about $400. Did you do that? Yeah, I did. I see that, Joyce. So I'm, I'm saying no to one thing, but I plugged it in. And we're going to see when what happens. When I'm happened. hearing, Ed, there's a device on the car that we don't know about that does that same Automatic. thing. And if you get in an accident, they know how fast you were going and right. everything else about you. Well, this is the first time. What do you think it is the way Big Brother's watching us? Oh, so all the close. time now. It's just really crazy. It's yeah. really unbelievable. But listen, George, there's power to the people? No. 
We're losing all the power. Look, you start from the well, federal government. You know how we would lose all the power? If people like you and I give up and stop it. Right. Because we are the watchdogs for right. people. You go to your school board meetings, your town board meetings, I bet well, zoning board well, meetings. Well, Monday night too. I went to the school board meeting and had all these retirees and everybody was saying congratulations to everybody. And I got, it says, well, I'm going to retire too. <laughs> I've been coming here 25 years. I says, we're in good hands. For the last three years, you'll hardly raise taxes at all, okay? And that uh, you Ed, have the money and stuff like that. But George, you know how much this is for one student? 28000 Ed, 20, many people uh, don't realize it and don't appreciate the work you do and the right. work that I do oh, for I free. Right. We watch how they're spending, and they we're keep spending. it in line because they know there's people out there watching how they're right. spending. He even told me last time, the supervisor, that I wasn't able, able to speak. So it was his birthday. So I says, all right, supervisor, I'm not going to say anything to you because it's your birthday. But the next time I'll be off. <laughs> but then I get threatened by the, you know the winery? <laughs> Yeah. The winery guy? Yeah, yeah. He's then, expanding his park. Yeah, he's expanding his park. He's already fixing it. already doing it already. But, Ed, before this show is over, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. there's a subject you know is dear to oh, my heart. Oh, you're talking about a flag? The American flag. Well, I, I read the article. It's, it's up. Okay, no, it is not, Eddie. Oh, it's not Eddie, up. Eddie, well, you probably read an article in the Examiner a week ago where a guy named Welder, and usually Welder means somebody who joins things together, okay. attacked me on my issues about the American flag. Oh, under, under Article 38 in the U.S. Code on a municipal building, the American flag must be flown above any other flag. Right, okay. In Peekskill, it is not. Oh. There's a flagpole on top that no flag is on, uh -huh. and they have the American flag alongside another flag, equal height just about. Oh, okay. They're in violation of the U.S. Code. I've been telling them for two years. Right. I even and, went there to Peak Skill to, to try to fight that. Right. And to right. get it up. Yeah, it's and, unbelievable. Uh, it's a shame that. So it's not up, George? It's yeah. not up, Eddie. Uh, I was assured at the last meeting, which happened Monday night, okay. the mayor now said it will be up, George. Oh. I shamed them so badly. Uh, they, they, they are unpatriotic if they don't fly the American flag properly well, what on do you, the U.S. What do you building. think about the... Uh, uh, I ain't going to talk about uh, it. Yes, we are. You are? Uh, well, there's a big... And if people say it's just, it's just an old piece of cloth and that you shouldn't be passionate about it, look at the passion in America today over what happened in South Carolina. Yeah. Nine people were slaughtered in a church... Right. And one of the symbols is the Confederate flag, which promotes separatism. I know many of the old-time Southern people said, well, it was our brave soldiers who fought for, for right. their rights. But it's still, it, in my well, opinion— Well, George it, Washington, our leader of our country, our first president, he was yeah. a slave owner. Uh, he was. He uh, was, so, you know. That was the day. So but things have the changed. Times are you don't see changing. that today. See I that. see the governor of South Carolina, who's a very intelligent woman, said that flag must come down, and it must come down, Eddie. Oh, that's good. I believe in even these old car shows up here in New York. Uh, your old friend Dennis uh, like right. to go to car shows. Right. They have the Confederate flag on their and their on their. Cars and oh, George, this if, is if, New if, York. This if, isn't right, but, South Carolina or Alabama. Look, it's just like look, if you fought for your rights, I like did. they did in the, in the South, okay, okay, against the Union, okay, that's that's history, okay. Yeah. Well, everybody died. Yeah. For, you know, it wasn't only slavery that they're talking about. It was yeah. Lincoln freed the slaves. And what people hit me with on this, Eddie, yeah, go ahead. is the Democrats put it up in them days, the uh, Confederate flag. Not the Republican uh, Party. I, I can't but stand no matter anymore. who put the flag up in today's day and age, it's not right if it symbols well, separatism of right. the state. The states. only person I haven't heard is Al Sharpton. <laughs> you know what happened to Al Sharpton? I he, don't he, know. He, is he sick? He looks kind of thin on his show when yeah, well, occasionally I see him. But uh, so those people there's just no just aggravate. But there's no justification of a boy going into a church and slaying nine right, people. For, for there for an hour. I don't understand what goes through people's minds that it's yeah. a black church, 
This kid it's comes a Baptist in. Church. Right. I don't know if they were talking to the kid or what. I know where he had his guns. But we won't get on the subject yeah. of guns and the Second oh, yeah, Amendment. Oh, Second Amendment. Okay. Because, yeah. again, it's the nut behind the gun. And if right, the exactly. NRA doesn't even want background checks, this no, will gotta, never end. But you have You've got to have at check. least a background check. Yeah, I don't know. His, I heard his father bought him the weapon. I, I don't know what that means. And in Friday night, the two nights after this show, we're right. going to have a, a prayer a vigil by the area pastors where... People of all races and religion will get together yeah. and honor the people who were killed. Honor uh, law-abiding prayer people in a well, church. Eddie. Okay, because I, I worked in Peekskill as a, as a substitute teacher for 12 years. Really? Yeah. I didn't see any color barriers or anything like that. No, no. We had a good time. Yeah. I, I just told him I was That's Italian. what I like about Peekskill. You know, I'm formerly from Yonkers. Oh, okay. And that was a racially mixed town, and so was Peekskill. Right. We don't know Lily White or any other colors. We know everybody's brothers, and you know that from Vietnam. Or, yeah. Oh, uh, in that time period, yeah. When we bleed, we bleed red blood. Yeah, now, that's the other thing. Who's fighting next to you? Of there's, there's, your no, brothers. there's no, yeah, you know, there's no racism. So why? Should, yeah, why, why do we need these people that push it? Certain ones down south still uh, hang on to that old time religion of uh, there's got to be separatism. People are getting beheaded Ooh. because of religion. Yeah. So let's not. How in the name of or people smash planes into buildings because of, oh, that's yeah. a misuse of religion. Yeah. That isn't the real Allah or the real uh, Muslim. Right. Well, we got to be tolerant, and we'll see what happens. George, Eddie, I appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you coming on on the last George, yeah. minute notice. Right, right. And you know, it's very poor when a person agrees to be on a TV show, does not even give them the courtesy of a call when oh. they're giving them time to express their views. And I won't mention the town supervisor of Yorktown <laughs> tonight. Oh, is that Michael Grace? Oh, I uh, know. You that, said, said the name, yeah, but, said the name. you know, at least give the person yeah. who wants to put you on and, and let you expose, espouse your views right. the courtesy of calling them and saying, I can't make it. So, yeah. Ed, I thank you for coming on. Listen, tonight. George, anytime. And maybe we can work something out with, the, you, with your director. And remember, you and I are only David, but David slayed the giant. We, we, we have uh, a lot of victories, George. Veterans do not retreat. They retreat and come back ten times higher. That flag will be put up in Peekskill on top of City Hall. It will be put yeah. up by the 4th of July, or there's going to be a massive demonstration well, actually, by me. veterans from all over. Right. Are you, you willing to come yeah, in? Yeah, I, like I came last Talking time, to right. people in Yonkers now. I'm talking to people all over the county. Well, it's a, this I represents said this freedom. And I usually That's don't freedom. use strong words. It's a damn disgrace that a patriotic disabled veteran can't get a flag put on top of City Hall in oh, right, I'm advising our viewers, 737-3400, call City Hall, Pete Skill, talk to the city manager, say, get that flag up. Eddie. Thanks, George, again. Thank yeah. you. Thank Remember, you. that represents freedom. Right. Okay, because that's what we... That red represents the blood of the boys. Right. Who, who right. <laughs>